And the first thing that I heard when I saw this Nine of Swords in reverse and the King of Wands upright is that line from Home Alone where Kevin says it is confronting his fear surrounding that that older man on the block um, that like drags the trash can around. I'm hearing the phrase, I'm not afraid anymore. Hey there Aquarius, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It's very nice to meet you. And if you are returning, what's up guys so welcome to your general reading for april of 2021 yes please keep in mind that this is a general reading so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't also because this is this is a general energy reading we could be talking about anything here from love to family to friends to career to finances anything yes um with that said also we could be talking to a cross watcher so if the roles that I'm speaking of don't necessarily work, or if the, the story doesn't work in the way that I'm speaking of, the way I'm narrating it for you, it, but it would work if you were to switch the roles, then take it that way, yes? Please just don't not, just please don't try to fit anything into um, your life that doesn't fit naturally, yes? Okie dokie. So, um, if you would like to get a personal reading with me, I am available for that. All the information can be found in the description box below. Also, if you were vibing with me as a reader and you would like some extra content, I highly recommend that you check me out over on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. That link can also be found in the description box below. Uh, we have a lot of great fun over on Patreon. It's basically like, basically like we're a bunch of friends that just get together and shoot the shit and blah, 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 which is great. Um, but uh, I, so, um, keep in mind also that daily readings are no longer over on Patreon. They have now since migrated back to YouTube in the form of morning coffee. However, we still have a lot of great fun over on Patreon, but we also offer things like, uh, monthly love readings for each of the Zodiac signs. So if you're interested in any of that, I, I highly recommend that you check me out. Uh, okay. So for this month, uh, Aquarius, we are using the Golden Art Nouveau Tarot. Okay, and then um, in being in the spring season, um, I really felt called to work with the, the unicorn. So we're getting our oracle guidance from the oracle of the unicorns deck. Yeah. All right, Aquarius. Um, so look, we're getting into your pre-shuffle energy here. And let me tell you, some real weird is going on with the air signs right now. Um, and I didn't explain this in the Gemini reading, which is where I started today. I did explain it in the Aquarius reading, and I'm sorry, in the Libra reading, and now it seems to be progressing with Aquarius. So it started with Gemini in this, in this energy of just like being in this really childish energy or in this like, you know, this childhood comfort zone, I guess you want to say. When we got to Libra, it was someone was like starting to wake up to the nightmare that this whole thing has become. And now that we're here in Aquarius energy, now this seems to be the energy of breaking free from this type of element. Okay. And this is kind of connected to this dream that I had this morning uh, in which there were these young people or these young, these like kids that were basically zombies. It's almost as if they were drugged. Um, or, 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 or manipulated in some way to just be these, just these, like, just zombies. It was the craziest thing ever. It was really scary. Um, and when I woke up out of that dream, I was still kind of in, like, REM cycles. So, like, my head had been, like, real weird all day since. But for you, Aquarius, it seems to be that this energy is turning around. And it feels like someone is really getting the elements together to break free from some sort of mental prison that was um, created by some sort of institutionalized energy. If this is resonating with you, if this reading does end up resonating with you, I highly recommend that you go back and watch the Gemini reading and then the Libra reading and see how it all ties together for you, okay? You don't have to have Gemini or Libra in your chart, but it seems like there's this, this narrative that's coming through through the through the earth through the I'm sorry through the air signs that all kind of fits together. It's like one progressing story. But um, 
continuing with your pre-shuffle energies, what's giving me this feeling of somebody is breaking free is you have the King of Wands, the Nine of Swords in reverse, the Devil, and the Knight of Wands in reverse. And the first thing that I heard when I saw this Nine of Swords in reverse and the King of Wands upright is that line from Home Alone where Kevin said it is confronting his fear surrounding that that older man on the block um, that like drags the trash can around. I'm hearing I'm hearing the phrase I'm not afraid anymore. You're not afraid of this guy any longer, this devil energy, nine of swords in reverse. And I'm also getting with the nine of wands in re I'm sorry, the knight of wands in reverse. There is an energy here of not wanting to advocate for this devil energy any longer. And part of this institution or part of whatever this circumstance was, it had people so wrapped up and maybe even so brainwashed to, to want to go around and advocate for joining this group or being a part of this society or whatever this is. What I was saying in the Libra reading is this feels like some sort, it, some sort it could it feels like it could be some sort of like religious group or just social group that kind of in reality is a cult but ultimately somebody here is gaining the confidence to break free from it somebody is not afraid of this any longer okay Woo! all right aquarius um let's reset here and you know what's so funny? As I've been talking through this energy, my head is clearing up. Ooh, shit, look at this. But like, yeah, I had this dream that feels very similar to this energy I've been talking about for the air signs. And as I've been going through this and telling this story and working through it, my head is starting to become less foggy. Isn't that cool? Okay, but what has just come out now is the Queen of Swords, the Five of Swords, and the Ace of Cups. There is a realization here. Knight of Wands is now at the bottom of the deck. It is upright. I did turn it upright before I put it back in the deck. But what this feels like here is someone is gaining a level of self-respect and self-love and even self-control to break free from this type of energy, this Five of Swords, lose-lose, destructive energy. I like that, Aquarius. I like that a lot. Uh, the Queen of Swords can also represent Libra energy. And it was in the Libra energy that I started to feel, or the narrative started to change in which someone actively wants to break free. It, the, it, the Libra energy felt like the stage in which someone really started to wake up and started to see the situation for what it truly is. Okay. And now in Aquarius energy, it feels like you're getting to the point where it's like, nah, I'm out of here. I'm breaking free. I'm not afraid of this anymore. You're not going to hold me back anymore. You're definitely not going to stop me. All right, Aquarius. All right, so let's get into the rest of this here and see what else we have for your reading. Here we go. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Aquarians at this time. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved. Please give us clear and accurate, re accurate representation of the energies for Aquarius in terms of general energies for the month of April of 2021. Thank you so very much, Spirit. Yeah, Aquarius, um, I'm seeing purple for you now. So this really is five shuffles. This is one. This is really a, a situation in which I feel like you're coming to a, a state of higher awareness that's helping you to break free from this energy. This is two. For my Aquarians, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of April 2021, this is three. This is four. This is five. 
five. Um, actually, I'm feeling like I want to give this six shuffles. So this is six. I think. I don't know. I'm, I'm, like, this energy has me really spaced out, you guys. It's weird. It's really freaking weird. Um, I feel like I'm really waking up from a really bad dream right now. Boop. I mean, I really kind of did this morning, but it's been extended into these readings. I have, uh, please, please, in the comments section, if any of this is resonating with you, can you please help me understand what's going on here? And again, I highly recommend that if this part of the, the, the session, if this reading is really resonating with you, I highly recommend you go back and check first the Gemini reading and then the Libra reading, okay? All right, overall energy with for you, Aquarius, we're starting you off with the Knight of Pentacles. All right. Underneath the Knight of Pentacles is the Nine of Pentacles. Underneath the Nine of Pentacles is the Eight of Cups. And then there's that purple energy, the High Priestess. So now the High Priestess is the counterpart to the Hierophant. And the Hierophant did come through in your pre-shuffle in terms of some sort of institutionalized energy or some sort of indoctrination. The, high, the Hierophant also came out for the Libra reading, okay? Um, but Aquarius, what this is saying for you here is slow and steady wins the race. Now, circling back to the Gemini energy, the Nine of Pentacles energy did come out for Gemini. But for Gemini, it was the very beginning of being able to think for yourself and stand on your own two feet. And there was some resistance to that within the Gemini reading. However, now that we're here in Aquarius, and now that I feel like how this, this story is progressing, this nine of pentacles energy definitely is the energy of someone being able to think for themselves, someone being able to break through the intoxication or the illusion and taking it slowly, but surely, to get themselves free of it. Now, the Knight of Pentacles can also represent that process that you've been through to get to this point where you can see past the illusion. Something that I was also saying in the Libra reading is that whatever this, this circumstance or this institution or this group has been using to basically like intoxicate people is no longer working. It's like your your tolerant your your tolerance of it is too high and it doesn't get you high anymore or it doesn't cloud your mind anymore. High priestess seeing above, seeing things from a higher point of view, seeing things from a deeper perspective, seeing past the illusion. And then underneath the high priestess is the emperor. The emperor being the authority figure, the emperor being the one that's in control of their so their surroundings, in control of their domain. And it really feels like no matter what this group can give you or no matter what this situation can give you, it doesn't change the fact that it's not worth it for you any longer. I like how we're progressing here. All right, Aquarius. First set of surrounding energies for you in the first half of your reading. The Ace of Cups. The deciding factor here in terms of this situation is that you seem to have found a sense of self-love. You also seem to have found that connection to source that this institution may have stripped from you in order to keep you under their control. Again, in some cases, this feels like a religious cult. But it seems that you, the person who is breaking free from this has found the connection, the divine connection to source that we all have that has reinstated their sense of awareness. Ace of Cups is coupled with the Six of Wands. Now, what I was also saying in the Libra reading is that this was all part of your journey. Okay, so it's not like you're any sort of bad person or you had some sort of bad karma that would get you involved in a situation like this. Quite frankly, it feels like this is something that you were meant to experience so that you could go through this and gain a different perspective. And now it seems that perspective has been gained. And the one thing you needed in this situation was that sense of con connection, unconditional love, 
and uh, just flowing love constantly, that sense of connection to source. So that you now can think for yourself. Okay, because this is no longer a question of who or what am I connected to? Am I connected to anything? This is not a question of you being a lost soul who basically was taken advantage of by someone that just wants or some group or, or institution that just wants to be in control. You seem to have found that connection to source again. You're no longer a lost soul. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Aquarius. There you go, Ace of Wands, wanting to move in a new direction inspired to maybe even set yourself free. Ace of Wands is coupled with the, yes, the Seven of Wands. So check it out, Aquarius. Six of Wands is the victory, right? The victory in connecting with, with reconnecting with Source. The Ace of Wands, con uh, combined with the Six of Wands, the Ace of Wands being that inspiration to move forward, to set yourself free, brings you to the seven, which gives you the power of boundaries. I like this. Your challenge, Aquarius, is the six of cups, the past. I just saw 555 five, five on the counter. Big change. I keep hearing indoctrination also. There's a big change in terms of the indoctrination that you've dealt with here. Six of Cups is the past. Past circumstances, memories, maybe even nostalgia to a certain extent. Cause like in the Libra re in the Libra reading, in that progression of this story, um shit, where was I going with that? Nostalgia. Oh damn it, I just lost my train of thought there. But ultimately the challenge here is, oh, well, there were some elements to this in the beginning that may have been really great for you, but the story was, it felt like what was once a, a carnival is now becoming a nightmare. And, and you're dealing with the past in terms of maybe nostalgia, but it also feels like people. And people trying to manipulate you to think or to, to, to remember the good times you had when in reality, the truth of the situation outweighs any sort of good elements that you may have experienced here. So what I'm feeling with this Six of Cups being your challenge is not allowing yourself to be roped in by individuals that don't want you to leave. Six of Cups is coupled with the Knight of Cups. But there's also a really compassionate element to all of this. I feel like the hardest part that you're going to be dealing with in terms of breaking free from this situation is the people and the connections with those people. There's also a level of compassion for those that are still wrapped up in the situation and you may feel influenced to stay just to help facilitate their healing. Don't do it. It's not worth it. Because I mean, quite frankly, if you think about this logically, you only race, uh, uh, face the risk of slipping back into sleep mode, getting roped back in. You don't want to do that at this point. And you need to allow yourself to be an example of how people can break free. Because ultimately, even though you may be leaving some people behind, and I know that breaks your heart, but even though you may be leaving some people behind, your story ultimately will inspire them at some point when they are ready to undertake the same shift. Okay, you need to allow your, set, your success in breaking free from this situation to speak for itself, okay? Closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading here, Aquarius, you do have the Page of Cups. And I'm, with that, I'm hearing a new emotional reality and in some cases, some of you in breaking free from this situation, some of you may rediscover a connection with your inner child. Actually, you may have already started that process with this Ace of Cups energy, okay? Page of Cups is coupled with mm, the Five of Wands. And I just keep hearing, remember the good times we had? When we were kids, when we were innocent, when we didn't know any better? 
okay, but now I do know better. Or now I do have a, 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 a new perspective. And really, Aquarius, quite frankly, this feels like your inner child is awakened and wants to break free. Okay. Wow, this is a heavy situation, man. Second half of your reading. First set of surrounding energies. It's the four of pentacles. What I just heard was, indoctrination is hard to break free from. And I still keep getting this energy or this element of other people around you trying to hold you down. Okay. Four of Pentacles is coupled with, ah, the Wheel of Fortune. But here there is a realization that if you are going to break free of this cycle, you're going to have to let go. Because the more you let go, the more you let go onto any element of this situation, quite frankly, the longer you're going to be swirling around in it. If you really want to this, if you really want this cycle to end, you really just have to let go completely. There are no elements of this situation that you can hold on to. You have to let go completely. Okay. Whew. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Aquarius in the second half of your reading, is the Ten of Pentacles. And this definitely could have, this could be a family, or this could just be a situation in which you've been a part of this for so long that these people or this situation has become family. But ultimately, the Ten of Pentacles is representing the end of a life cycle the end of a life circumstance, the end of a life lesson, completion. It's time to let this go now. It's time to let this be done for once and for all. Ten of Pentacles is coupled with the Knight of Wands. Now this also kind of feels like uh, an element of like a teenager wanting to move on with their life, like someone you know, graduating from high school or maybe even graduating from college and wanting to move on to the next phase in their life. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that, but indoctrination would tell you otherwise. Icky. Your challenge here, Aquarius, in the second half of your reading is the magician. Look at that. And this is the same as the Libra reading. I think it was even in the same position too, as in like the same challenge position maybe i'm not sure i don't i don't quite remember but the challenge here is the same allowing yourself to manifest allowing yourself to remember that you are you have control over your manifestations in life you at least have control over what you align with that brings that 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 ultimately manifests something into your life and part of this circumstance has been stripping your power away to make you believe that you don't have this connection to source so that you can manifest, right? It's ultimately stripped your power of manifestation away so that those in power can stay in control, right? The magician is coupled with, mm, yep, yep, the five of pentacles. So your challenge is, your challenge is remembering that you are not helpless that you can manifest for yourself. Closing message or potential outcome for you, Aquarius, in the second half of your reading, you have, ooh, yes, indeed, Queen of Swords. I mean, this one's pretty self-explanatory because we did already talk about this, but the Queen of Swords just says, no, no, we're not arguing about this. There is, no, there is nothing up to debate. This is not up for discussion. Chopped. Queen of Swords is coupled with. The world. I'm so, oh, you guys. I'm so glad 
that this situation is ending the way that it is because this has been a doozy, okay? But it looks like at this point in the progression of this story from Gemini to Aquarius, we finally have an end to this situation. And it's a real end. It's an end in which we're never going back. Queen of Swords says, <laughs> absolutely not. Yes. Okay. Let's get your closing Oracle Guidance, Aquarius. I'm going to give this three shuffles here. One. Whoop. Try again. One. Two. Closing Oracle Guidance for my Aquarians. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of April of 2021. And this is three. All right, Aquarius. Closing Oracle Guidance here. There it is right there. Oh, shit. Yo. This is the same card that Gemini got. Hope. Stay positive. The world... I'm sorry, the worst is behind you. Look up to the light. Ugh, you guys. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. I mean, this, it's all just come full circle. So here we go. You have been through a challenging period, but now the darkness is lifting and a new day is dawning. Fill your heart with hope, for the worst is now behind you, and this turning point brings new possibilities for peace, happiness, and prosperity. If you have felt broken, you will return to wholeness. If your life has been chaos, order will soon be restored. If you have been in scarcity, abundance will begin to flow. If you have felt lost, you will find your way. This unicorn brings the reassurance of a new beginning and the blessings that are to come. He asks you to focus purely on the outcome you want. Don't look back only ahead to your new destination. Turn your face to the light and take one step at a time, knowing that with each stride, your life will be easier. Be patient on your journey and know the unicorns are by your side every step of the way. And what I was saying with Gemini when this card came out was, in this deck, I feel like this is one of the most powerful images in this deck. And it's mainly because of this unicorn's mane that seems to have been buzz cut, but is growing back and will grow back as a symbol. And that's a symbol of hope. The chickens are freaking out. There you have it, guys. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I love you all so very much. Again, if you would like a personal reading with me, all the information is in the description box below. Also, if you would like to check me out on Patreon, I highly recommend you do so. Patreon.com slash Divine Conversations. That link can also be found in the description box. But with that said, I hope you have a fantastic month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of May. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye! <laughs>